This is the grid method for division, but with remainders. Set out in a similar way to the multiplication grid method. This time, I asked the students to think of this in terms of money. $100 notes, $10 notes, and dollar coins. Dividing by four. So if I've got $100 for each child, I can give them $100 each. That would be $400, leaving me $300 left over. If I gave them $200 each, I would have given out $800, which means I'll be short $100. So I can only give them $100 each, and the $300 I'm going to turn into $10 notes. Now I've got $330, but there's 33 $10 notes shared between four children. So I can go through my times tables until I've given out all of my $10 notes. 4 8 to 32, that's $32. If I give them 9, I'll give them out $360, that's too many. So I'm only going to give eight $10 notes to each child, that's $80, leave me with $10 left over, which I can't share out as $10 notes, so I'll turn them into singles, that's $19, giving them out to the children, I can give out a total of four. If I give out five, I've given out $20, which is too many, so I'm going to give out four, leave me with a remainder. The remainder is three. We could just leave it there, or if you want, you can turn it into a fraction or into a decimal. But I'll leave it as a remainder.